Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to The Witness. All right, in the last episode, we figured we f finished up on the uh, glass factory over here, and we're trying to get to our first beacon. Before we go, though, I just wanted to point this, this out to you guys. So this obelisk right here keeps track of all of the different environment hidden puzzles that are here uh, in this in this um, area. There are eight of these, I believe. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm correct on that one. There's actually one right over here. Not, not an obelisk, there's a puzzle right over here that took me forever to find. I don't know why you'd be walking here, it's not really a path, and I don't know why you'd even see this on the ground, but as you can see right here, there's a short little right there. And as you can see, the particles go right into that obelisk, and now we have a new one lit up. So that's how uh, it keeps track. Once you finish all of them in the area, it turns white. Um, so that's how you know you've completed it. Now, we're going to continue on in this area. So there are two different ways to go. I believe it wants you to go this way. As you can see, the wire connects down to over here. So that connects right here. That one connects over here and then this one connects over here are these the first ones yes so these are very creative and very fun i don't think i don't think it matters yet yeah so right there it's like that right here this is just a matter of collecting all of the black dots so we don't need to worry about anything in the environment yet. So we need to go down first. Ooh. Oh, we need to double back. Like that, and like that. Ooh, no, we just screwed one up. Maybe around like that. Double back, up. Yes, there we go. This one. Ooh. Okay. Um... Can we do this? Can we do this? Ah. Uh, there we go. That covers everything. It's not exactly what I was going for originally. I thought this one would end there and this one would end there. But it wound up doing a little doubling back. Ah, uh, so this one has endings. That one's pretty easy. Very simple. So that is done. That goes over here to these. Now this one has specific colored dots. So this one's very different. I have to start, the one that I click on is the blue one. So I have to start here on the blue and grab all the blue dots with the blue one. I have to grab the yellow dots with the yellow one. Hmm, this one might be tough. Okay, we definitely need to... Yeah. Oh! Okay, wait, no, I see it. There we go. Bonk. There's also another solution to that, but I don't think it matters. I mean, there's many solutions to it, but there's another ending, so maybe just in case. I'll do the exact same thing, but end it there. Um, this one has, okay, two endings. It looks like, so the black ones can be grabbed with e in either color, luckily. Uh, there. And this one. We got yellow. Okay. Yeah, that works. Oh, no, it doesn't. There's a... There's a black one right there. So if I went here with yellow, then I'd have to go there. But then that makes it so I can't get that yellow. Hmm. So what if I went around like this? Got that yellow. No. Interesting. 
How about we start with blue here? Nah, there's no way that that's correct. Because, yeah, you can't get this blue. So blue's definitely down here, I would say. Let's go all the way over. No, because that would cut off the ending. Okay, how about we... And we can't pass this, either. And if we're starting yellow here... Well, no, we don't have to get it there. We can get it like that. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. No! That's the exact same thing that I... That's not the exact same thing that I did, but... It's very close. Okay, we can't turn here. But we can't go up. Because then this yellow is impossible to get. Because I can't get yellow over there without blue screwing it up. Hmm. Okay. So if I do that, I can't get back to it. Whatever is coming to this exit has to come in through here because it needs to get that black one before like that. Okay, so then if I go like this and like this, like this, like that, <gasps> yes, no, no, yes, yes, there we go. I got it. Just took a while, but I got it. All right, coming down to over here. This one will unlock the beacon, but there's some extra environmental kind of involving puzzles that we can get as well. So uh, this one, I believe, is the one that fades. So let's do blue here. Ooh. There we go. works blue here yeah so yellow starts fading out as you can see so you don't constantly know where yellow is hold on maybe like this like that there we go that works <laughs> and then yellow is completely invisible by now. Oh, I see. So I'd need to go up. So yellow, when I do this, yellow, if I were to do that, yellow were to lo would, would look like that. So in order to get this yellow one up there, I need to do something like that. Yeah, so if you can imagine it, it goes like that on that side. Um, what do we got here? So if I start at blue here, and okay, so yellow is going this way when I do this. So I would have to go up right there. I'm gonna hit. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't bump into. I thought I might bump into the yellow track. <clears throat> oh, and this one has only yellow. So my only job is to get all the yellows without bumping into myself. As you can see, I'm doing that right there. So if I went like that, that gets that top one, which is on this corner right here. I have to go up one, over two, and up another one. Yeah. And then like that. Yes! So there is our entrance to the beacon, but before we go do that, we're gonna do these down here. Whoa, a little bit of a lag spike. I think I'm gonna start playing these on, uh, uh, or this on medium quality. Even though high quality looks so nice, I'm gonna have to just play it on medium quality. My, my computer can run it, it's running at 120 frames, but every once in a while there's a lag spike. And if I can get rid of the whirring in the background, that would be nice. As you can see, 
the way I'm standing right now kind of perfectly lines up with these rocks in the background. So that's actually part of the puzzle. You need to encompass all of the rocks. Bam. Now I'm doing this because we're going for full completion and it keeps track of how many of the actual panels that you've solved. All right, so if I can figure this out, if the reflection goes down to there, then that means it is a rock that goes up to here. So we need to go like that, that, this, and this. Beautiful. Let's head over here. Got some more rocks to do here. Maybe right like this. Oh, I need to. There we go. Ta-da! A lot of people might try to do it around this rock or something, but to figure out that it's over there. A lot of this game is uh, totally up to perspective. Is there something at the back? No, it looks like this one is like this. Yeah, like that should be. This one always confuses me. I'm not totally sure how you're supposed to do it. I think it's like this. Yeah. So I don't know, it's kind of it's kind of weirdly positioned as long as all of the rocks are in it, I believe. So this one took me a while to figure out the first time I played through even even having watched See the people that I watched play this game didn't go all the way through it. So some of these puzzles were skipped. Uh, but you have to figure out that you have to turn around and go like this. And there we go. And that's the final puzzle here. So that doesn't give you actually any actual reward, but uh, it does count to the full completion of the game. If you if I pause here and press load a game and go to the top, as you can see, I have 65 solved plus eight. So the plus eight is the uh, uh, the environment puzzles that we've done, as you can see, there are 135 in total. And the plus six, I believe, are the little triangle puzzles. But I've done two of those, so I don't know why that's not showing up here. But we'll, we'll figure that out. The total in the game is 522 plus 135 plus six. And as you can see in this old save, this is the one that I recorded before. I did 520 plus 135 plus six. So I was very, very close to completing the entire game, but just did not do it. I didn't know that I was that close until I started researching after I had finished the series and I realized that I was so close. <clears throat> and with that, oh yes, okay, we get some fun mirror puzzles up here. So basically what you have to do is just solve this by itself. The whole concept of mirrors and everything. Uh, plays through this. So let's just solve all of these first. Nope. Nope. Uh, like this. There we go. Oh, no. Okay, that works. Ooh, lots of different ways to solve this one. Uh, it has to be this one. Yeah. It's just a little bit of a squiggly there. Alright. So now in order to unlock the beacon, we have to mirror these solutions on this side. So, it goes up two over one, makes a square, and then does a little S. Makes a square, and does a little S. So there you go. This one goes up and around the top down and then through the middle okay so it's like up and around the top through the middle down and the same shape on this side yes and then this one goes over one down over one up all the way to the top over one down and then okay so over one down up down No, that's wrong. Oh. Oh, I see. So on this one, 
Ah, uh, this one's this one's upside down instead of flipped. See, with this one, the solution is or the finish is there and the finish is here. So this one it's on the right, this one it's on the left. But uh, with this one, the solution's on the. Oh wait, no. No, this is the same. But it's also upside down, because with this one it's still in the middle. With this one it's still at the top. Uh, just like that, middle, middle, top, top. But this one. Uh, this one has it at the bottom and this one has it at the top so you actually have to flip it as well so instead it would go uh, Over one up all the way down all the way There we go and with that we've unlocked our first beacon So let's watch this very slowly unfold and it's gonna shoot onto the top of that mountain over there takes a little bit you there Bam, and shoots right over onto the mountain. So that's where all of the beacons culminate, and that's where the end of the game is. But for right now, I think our next line of business, I like doing the cherry grove after doing the glass factory because it kind of looks like it's leading you over there. Uh, this is another area that just has puzzles, doesn't have a beacon. There's no reward for doing them besides that you're going to complete the whole thing. This one is very interesting. I like, I, I just love the way that the game incorporates nature and perspective uh, into it. So as you can see, there's an apple on this branch, on the third big branch, on the right, on the right. So third big branch, which is right here, and then right, right. And that is where the apple is, and that's the solution to the puzzle. So then we go over here, uh, and this one takes a lot of perspective too, because if you view it from this way, well, first of all, you can't really view it very easily from that way. Uh, but if you were to view it from that way, as you can see, there's a broken branch right here. But that broken branch should be on the right, because that's where there's a branch mis missing. So you have to view it from this way. So there's the third big branch, right, left. Or, sorry, second big branch, right, left. So second big branch, uh, right, left. There you go. Very neat. This one is a little bit more confusing. Uh, so let's see, are there any broken branches? Yes, there is. So as you can see, the second small branch right there is broken. So you're viewing it from this branch to this branch to this branch to this branch. Uh, they're all kind of twisted, but if you view it like this, it's one, two, three, four. So it would actually be the second br big branch right, right. Second, right, right. Ta-da. Heading along with the wire over here. The gate is open. We've got this one. The broken branch is there. So this time we actually have to see if the broken branch is there on the first big branch of here, then we actually have to view it from here because this is where the broken branch is on the diagram. So it would be the third big branch, left, right. Third, left, right. There we go. This one doesn't have an apple. I think this one, you have to figure out what's different on the diagram as opposed to the actual tree. So we've got a broken branch on the rightmost of the first big branch, so that's there on the diagram. We've got a broken branch, uh, second big branch, right, left. Second big branch, right, left. Yes, that's also broken correctly. We've got the third big branch, right, left, and that is not there. And then we've got the fourth big branch, left, right, which is there, right there. 
So we need a third big branch, right, left. Right there, right, left. And that should be broken. That's why it's different. Okay. And then that's it for this area. There's just some interesting diagrams here. Somebody was studying nature, how nature works. Growing trees, bonsai trees. Very interesting. Interesting stuff, if you ask me. Uh, but with that, we can head over to the uh, desert area, I'd say, would be probably the best next place to go. We are kind of nearing the town. That's actually supposed to be the second to last area of the town, but the town is kind of the hub for the whole island, so we'll return there very many times um, throughout the series. Yeah, every time that lag spike happens, it kind of resets the quality, so I don't love it. Um, so I'm probably going to start playing on medium quality. This one has some very cool environmental puzzles. I really like these here. Uh, we can do a couple over here on the face of this wall. So as you can see, if I line up with the sun correctly, I can start this puzzle right here and finish it right there. So these two things are normally gold, but since I lined it up with the sun correctly, I was able to turn them white. And the same happens right here. Now, before we even go in, I can do the same kind of thing from up here. As you can see, there's a couple to do up here. I've got the sun in most of them, so I can do a sh No, I can't do a straight line. I can go like this, down, and... Oh, I can't. I guess I didn't line it up perfectly. Like right there. Up, down, over. There we go. Oh, but I can't see the ending. Okay, there. Ta-da. And then I think there's another solution to it. If I move to the side, right here, there is the... That's not viable. There we go. I can go like that, like that, and like this. And those are two solutions to the desert obelisk. And then there's another one that I know of. There's a couple over here, but I can't can't remember all of them. But I know that there's this one. If I head over here to the coast. Just looking around to see if I remember any. If I head over here, this is one of my favorites because it, it really takes perspective to the next level. You can kind of see that there should be an ending right there. But if I go right here, look at this. So there's a rock formation over there. But if I back up right here, it perfectly forms a circle. But that's not it. Because this thing, actually, from where I'm standing, lines up the stairs perfectly so that it makes a perfect line. And it also takes us back around and lines up with the wall right there. So as you can see, if I move from this position, totally different. That's the wall. These stairs don't look anything like a line from when you're coming up them. But when you stand right here, perfectly right there, those stairs form a perfect line. I love the perspective stuff like that. It's very, it's very creative and very challenging. It's fun to find things like that naturally. Um, but anyway, we can get started on this area. And we'll probably finish it up next episode. Because we've only got five minutes left in this episode. Um, but yeah, so let's start up. So this has a lot to do with sunlight. Uh, let's see, where's the first unlocked one? So here are the first couple ones that are unlocked. So as you can see, if I line up perfectly with the light, with the sunlight, you can see an outlined solution to this puzzle. Not this one. I need to back up a little bit. Looks like it goes up and around like that. Yep. This one is a little bit more difficult, but I can actually move it. So I can get half of the puzzle right here. So it starts there and goes up and then finishes in the bottom there. But what's going to be on this side?
So if we move the other half into the sun, we will see... Oh, right there. So we know that it starts here and goes up. Then in order to get there, we'd have to go down and around, and then we know it finishes right there. So that one is very cool. Okay, so this opens up these three puzzles. I can't totally remember how to... Ah, here we go. So here's the sun on this one. So it's like this. Oops. Oh, not like that. Like that. This one. Oh, there's the sun. Right there. Goes perfectly down like that. And then this one. There it is. Goes right here. Up and down like that. And then that unlocks this. Which we can see right here. Okay, and then that allows us to move this. So, if we move it all the way to the side and get the sun on it perfect. Oh, I actually remember what you need to do here. You need to be up here in order to see this properly. Okay. So I believe as this moves, the sun will line up with this. I might be wrong. It might have been from up here. <laughs> yeah, I think I was wrong. Oh, let's see if we have time. I don't think we do. Where was it from? Maybe it wasn't here. Maybe it was actually up there. I just didn't wait long enough. Let's see if we have time. <laughs> ah, there it is. Can I activate it from here? Oh, I can. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. And then that... I believe is the last thing that we needed to unlock the door. Uh, let's go check the door. Yep. So the door is now unlocked. There we go. Let's also go down here because there is a little bit of a secret along the shoreline over here. I also think that this is something... Now that I think of it, it might have been... Oh no, I do remember. It's right here. That's right, I forgot about this. Here we go. If we line up right here... Oh no, I can't go sideways there. Need to line it up better. There we go. Like that, and then I think... If we go like this... We can get this one. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I thought I remembered that. And then down here, there's a way down to the shore. I can't remember where the steps are. I think they might be right over here. Yes. So there's another secret puzzle down here. But we may not know how to do this yet. No, we don't know how to do this yet. <clears throat> we have not been introduced to those... Uh, Mechanics. However, I think over here. Nope. Wait, is that a. I thought that was a tape recorder. Uh, over here. On this side. Mm, oh, keep going. A very long coast. There it is. We've got this puzzle right here, which we can very s easily solve like that. Uh, plus fifteen. See, I don't know. I don't know what what the six are. I guess. <laughs> I guess I. I just don't don't exactly know uh, what the plus six is, but we'll figure it out uh, as we go through. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed. And until next time. Oh, actually, I think there's one more that I can do from here. If I'm remembering correctly.
Aha! Look at that. We can use the coastline to go like that. Ta-da! Anyway, I hope you have all enjoyed this episode. Until next time, have a great day, and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.